Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie and if you are new here, hello, welcome. I hope you'll consider subscribing for a lot more diamond painting content and if you are back, welcome back. Today I'm here with a sneak peek unboxing of this beautiful kit from Diamond Art Club called Shadow and Light Cat by Jade Marion. It's kind of hard to see there. I'll give you a better look at the original artwork when we open this up. But this is one of the new releases this weekend. And this kit, along with the other new releases, are going to be coming out tomorrow, which is Saturday, June 17th at 9.30 a.m. Pacific, 12.30 p.m. Eastern. If you are in the Diamond or Ruby tier of the rewards program, you do get a half an hour early access window. Sometimes those emails will come in a little bit earlier, so just set an alarm and start checking 45 minutes beforehand. Anyway, uh, to just show you the box here, so we do have some pink branding up here that Diamond Art Club uses with their round drill diamond painting kits. On the back, there's some info about how to diamond paint your kit contents. And then there's a QR code here on the side that you can scan that will give you 10% off your purchase. Now, if you're brand new to Diamond Art Club and looking at making your very first purchase, I actually have a 20% off code that you're welcome to use. <clears throat> it's just my name, Katie, K-A-T-I-E, and the number 20. And that is an affiliate code though, so I may make a small commission, so don't feel obligated at all to use it. Um, but thank you if you do, that always goes right back into my channel. Uh, that insanity that you heard in the background is my very own shadow cat. I have a shadow and a light cat. <laughs> and I'm telling you what, that black cat has some serious, serious black cat energy going on. So <laughs> he's in a rare form this evening. Anyway, so here we've got all of our kit contents and then we've got a toolkit here. Um, here's the contents of your toolkit. Let's take a really quick look. As we mentioned, this kit comes with round diamonds, and with that in mind, Diamond Art Clips Diamond Painting Kits, if it's if it comes with round diamonds, it's not gonna come with a pair of tweezers, but if you get a kit with square diamonds, it'll come with a pair of tweezers. Anyway, still gonna have everything you need to do your diamond painting, though. We have a basic pen and a squishy. The color on those will vary. You're also going to get um, some thin plastic multi-placers that you can use if you want to try your hand at placing more than one diamond at a time. We've also got some wax here, you guys. Be sure that you peel off that thin plastic film so that when you try to load up your pen, it doesn't get stuck, stuck in that cover. You have a bag of baggies if you want to kit up into these or store your leftover diamonds in, you totally can. We also have a tray and Diamond Art Club's toolkits come with a stopper as well that you can pop in there that stops the diamonds from sliding out. And then these two elements here can vary a little bit from kit to kit. So this is what we call a cover minder. The style on it will vary. There's magnets on the back and if you take the one and slide it under the area of the canvas you're working on, set that canvas down, peel back the plastic cover and then set this part on top of the peel back plastic cover. It'll hold that back for you and look really cute too. We've also got a roll of washi tape. The print will vary, and I use washi tape to both section off my canvas and to go around the border of my canvas to cover up any glue that goes past the edge of the drill field, which just prevents any dirt or dust from getting stuck in that little bit of glue that's not gonna be covered up by diamonds. So uh, we're also gonna have this smaller logbook style sticker. I like to use this in my paper logbook once I've actually started working on a kit. I like that it has the original artwork and the stats as well. The size on this one isn't too large at all. 20 by 20 inches or 50.7 by 50.7 centimeters. And uh, some people will use this on the side of the box to help organize their stash. Or you could probably find something crafty to do with it even. So I just like the Diamond Art Club includes it. <laughs> Everything else is going to be included here in our uh, this brand of plastic dust cover or bag. And then, let's see, here we go. Oh, cute, oh my gosh. Now, Jade Marion is a little bit newer to Diamond Art Club. Not the first kit I've seen released from this artist, but gosh, this one. This one I really enjoy, especially because like I was just saying, I actually, I have two cats and one is this coloring, kind of white coloring and grayish actually. And then I have a black cat. And so I thought it would be really fun to be able to have something that represented the two of them. <laughs> I'm gonna roll this back the opposite direction. Diamond Art Club's canvases are nice high quality material and they use poured glue so it is safe to roll backwards. You're not gonna damage the glue or the canvas at all. Sometimes you'll see the edges roll back like that. Um, just that happens when it gets rolled around the diamonds during transit. You can also do what I'm doing here and peel back the plastic cover halfway each direction, lay it back down. That will also help it lay flat and get rid of any sort of shifts you see in the plastic cover over the glue. There are no actual 
rivers or, or folds in the glue or canvas. That's sometimes things just shift when they're rolled up. So there's our gorgeous canvas, you guys. We'll take a closer look at that in just a moment. We have our bag of diamonds that we'll look at in a bit. Let me show you what else is in here. We have a pamphlet with some helpful info in it, a thank you note from the founder on the front. Here's what's included in your kit. A beginner video with step-by-step -step instructions. I actually, I also have one I'll have linked below. Be sure you check the description box for a ton of helpful links. Um, a link to the VIP Facebook group was once you've made your first purchase, you can join that and it is a really nice resource and fun community. We got a list of step-by-step -step instructions written out for you here, then some tips and tricks along with yet another discount code, and then a QR code that'll take you to the mobile app on your device, which is a nice way, a nice option for staying up to date with notifications, sales, new releases and stuff, and you get 20% off your first purchase through the app as well. Here we've got a larger sticker sheet. There's the title of the original artwork, Shadow and Light Cat by Jade Marion. A spot to write your start and end date. There's a better look at that original artwork. Really comes through a little bit better there. Um, this artist I feel like does a lot of these kind of reflective pieces, has a lot of animal artwork that's stylized and I think is just really, really beautiful and translates well to diamond paintings from Diamond Art Club as well. Here's the stats again, round diamonds, 20 by 20 inches in size. Over here, you guys, we have a set of pre-cut sticker labels. So if you're like me and you like to take the diamonds and to cut up on those heat seal baggies and put them into storage containers, or if you like baggy, putting them into Ziploc baggies or something similar, uh, you can actually take these stickers and then label whatever you've chosen to put those into. And that makes the process of kitting up go quickly because these are pre-cut and then finding the symbols themselves go, go much quicker as well. The color code system you see in this column is the same as the DMC color code system that most diamond painting companies use. Diamond Art Club's numbering system has a couple exceptions though, so anything under the number 150 is going to be a special kind of diamond called an AB, so we're going to have two of those. Additionally, if you look at the end here, sometimes you'll see some diamonds that have letters at the beginning like this one z301 so that's going to be one of their special diamonds i'm guessing either a fairy dust or an iridescent um possibly an electro <laughs> they have a few different ones i have a video that demos all of them but i i don't always remember some of them share the same letter designation but we'll take a look together at the colors here and i will point out to you what those special diamonds are as well as where on the canvas we will find those but 38 colors in total in this kit not super, super colorful, but looking at the colors in it, that's not not surprising at all. So let's take a little tour of the canvas. Up here at the top, we have their branding. Do what makes you sparkle? Diamond Art Club. Uh, the, the edges of the canvas are scalloped and finished, so you're not gonna have to worry about any fraying at all. The backing is this really, really, really soft plush backing that you honestly could just take a nap on. <laughs> the material of the canvas itself is really sturdy, but also really malleable. It's just really luxurious to work on and enjoyable to work on. The pore glue you see here, you can usually tell if a canvas has pore glue, so I have this clear plastic cover, but is quite sticky and it's pretty forgiving. It holds the diamonds well, but you can make little adjustments once they're down too. And then at the top left, we have a legend or a schematic or key code, whatever you would like to call it. And then we have this same over here at the bottom right. At the bottom left, we've got a thumbnail as well as the title again, Shadow and Light Cat, the size, and then copyright Jade Marion and Diamond Art Club. This is really important. So Diamond Art Club legally licenses all of their artwork from the artist. That means that Jade Marion has both given permission for the use of their artwork and is being compensated for the use of it as well. And with art theft being unfortunately very common in the crafting world, I'm always gonna point out companies and support companies that are doing right by artists. Here at the bottom, we have another discount code as well as links to their socials. That's the best way to stay up to date with new releases and whatnot. And then info, info about their lifetime warranty. As long as you are the original owner and purchaser of your kit, you're covered under that lifetime warranty, which includes if you happen to run out of any diamonds, if you run into any issues with the glue or the canvas, anything at all, contact their customer support. They're very responsive. I feel like they have someone there virtually around the clock at this point and they'll get you taken care of. So. Looking at the drill field, the printing is really clear with these symbols. You can see that um, this almost looks like a square drill printing of the drill field at first glance uh, because the circles on the symbols are pretty faint. And that's designed deliberately that way so that when you're doing your diamond painting, if you place your diamonds, they're not if they're not necessarily perfectly centered, you're not gonna see the symbol peeking out around the sides, which would sometimes happen if, for example, this were a more stark white symbol, uh, circle behind every symbol, so behind every diamond. 
This kit has a decent amount of color blocking and confetti. I really like a good mix of both. So our cats here, our shadow and light cats, have a bit of confetti in them. That's where we have more color changes in the small areas. So you'll be doing a little bit more single placing and changing out the color in your tray more often. But we also have a nice bit in the background here of color blocking. And that's where we have large sections of the same color in a small area. So you can use your multi-place or you'll have that color in your tray more often those areas are gonna go a bit quicker. And honestly, I really do like to have a nice mix of both in my canvases and my kits because confetti does keep it interesting and you get that payoff of a little bit more detail, but color blocking keeps it moving. Now, let's go ahead, ooh, first, real quick, let's do a quick measurement and see if we're true to size. Usually we are from Diamond Art Club, but I always just, you know, we like to double check for posterity. We are at 50.7 centimeters on the nose. And then uh, 50.7 centimeters about on the nose. So yeah, call them that true to size. <laughs> Let's take a look at these diamonds, you guys. There's a sticker on here that tells you what kit these go with. So if you store these separate from the canvas outside of the box they came in, easy enough to match up later. So here's our little color spread, you guys. Not shocking, given the original artwork. Now let's take a look. So uh, we have this little straggler strand of diamonds, some browns. DMC code is printed on each of the bags here. Diamond Art Club's round diamonds. Let's talk about it. So Diamond Art Club manufactures all their diamonds in-house, both round and square. And I actually really love that they chose to do this canvas with round diamonds because if you take a look here, there is no extra filter or editing going on here, you guys. Those three tens, I'm just shifting them a little bit and you see the level of sparkle in those. Diamond Art Club's round diamonds are very, very, very faceted. They have lots of angled cuts in them and stuff like that. And so that means that they just sparkle so much. And I find that that sparkle, almost twinkle effect is much more prominent when it comes to darker colors. And so I do very much think that this kit is going to lend itself to having round diamonds because there's so much dark color, so many dark colors in the background that that's really gonna pop. That's, it's just, it's gonna sparkle and twinkle beautifully, I think. So here you go, you guys. We have our first special diamond, 129. This is an AB diamond. AB stands for Aurora Borealis. And just like the Northern Lights have a gorgeous color shift effect, so too does the coating on these diamonds. You can see that it's not just that pale yellow color that's the base color of this, this diamond, but that iridescent coating on the top sparkles even more than the other regular color diamonds like this one do. And it has hints of other colors in it, pinks, blues, greens, that sort of thing. That's gonna really stand out, especially against all the dark colors in this kit, and it's gonna highlight the areas that's been charted, and it's just gonna be great. I'll show you guys where those are gonna go. Here's our second special diamond. This is one of our, our fairy dust. Okay, so we have a fairy dust color in this kit, Z301. Now take a look at the coating on the tops of these diamonds. It is almost like a mica glitter powder that's been brushed on the top. Um, I'm gonna point you to the video that I, oh, actually that is, uh, that is a pretty good look at those, you guys. Uh, I did a video dedicated to showcasing each of Diamond Art Club's special diamonds, and you can see them on a canvas and in a tray. Uh, so I'll, I'll link that below if you want to get more into it. But that pretty brown copper one is just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. So there's two of our special diamonds. Then we have some more browns. Lots of shades of browns and blues too, it looks like. Yeah, about every single shade of brown. My goodness, that's going to make for some beautiful color shading and blending, I bet. The last color in this strand is our third special diamond and our second AB 141. This is a white AB, but that color on the top is just about every every color of the of the rainbow. It's almost a pastel rainbow. Um, these are a really really popular AB. You'll see them in a lot of Diamond Art Club kits, and they're a really lovely choice. So, two ABs, one fairy dust. We have our pale yellow and our white AB, and then we have our kind of coppery, bronzy, fairy dust color. So taking a look on the canvas, you guys, um, there's a couple of dots, not all of the dots you see in the background, not all of them, but a couple, like this one, this one, this one, those are white EBs. The rest are just kind of a regular, looks like a taupe color, uh, taupe color drill. And then 
in here. Okay, so the plus sign. It kind of looks orange in frame. The plus sign, which cat is eating? That is my that is my shadow cat. <laughs> uh, that plus sign you see is where our fairy dust diamond is going to go with that really pretty glittery effect. It's it's more of a shimmery effect, a little more subtle than an AB, but gorgeous nonetheless. I think it's going to look beautiful against the really dark colors around it. So we have some in the cat's face and then some throughout its body. I love that. And then in our light cat, if you look at the number one, the number one is going to be our pale yellow AB. And you can see it's doing a lot of highlighting, kind of the symbols that are in the cat, that whole number one you see. And a little bit in the tail as well. I love the feathered tail, it's so pretty. So those are gonna be our pale yellow ABs. And then, there are, oh, there are, okay, so the black dot on the white background. This is our white AB, so we have just a sprinkling of them in here, one kind of where the cat's eye goes, and then, oh, a little bit on the cat's back too, you see the black dot on the white circle, and then just a couple here, just a couple in the background, the white, uh, the white circle with the black dot in the middle. So I love the special drills a lot. You guys, this looks absolutely gorgeous. And I think this would be an incredibly beginner friendly kit. Um, and also one that would also just be any diamond painter friendly. Even if you're a more seasoned diamond painter, having something that is a little bit smaller and has more color blocking in it can be a really nice break from larger canvases. It has round diamonds. I bet this would work up relatively quickly and be really, really enjoyable to work on. And I have a feeling that um, the blending of all these different shades of brown and everything is just going to make for a really striking and beautiful 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 interpretation of the original artwork i'm a huge fan of the special drill charting um the fairy dust drills i have to be honest you guys i i can't i have to pick a favorite honestly fairy dust diamonds have to be my favorite kind of special diamond that diamond art club does and i think that they they've picked a really really beautiful place to chart these in this particular kit so um, this is amazing. I think this looks wonderful. So um, definitely have this on your shopping list for the weekend. I haven't worked on a piece by this artist yet. I think this might be my first. I'm really, I say it often, but I really, it would be really neat to get this kit up and, and get started on it just to um, have a little representation of my, of my shadow and light kitties. So anyway, the actual name of this artwork though is Shadow and Light Cat. It's by the artist Jade Marion, um, 20 by 20 inches. It's got 38 colors with two AB colors and one fairy dust color. This looks gorgeous. This along with the other new releases this week are gonna be coming out tomorrow, which is Saturday, June 17th. 9.30 a.m. Pacific, 12.30 p.m. Eastern. Don't forget if you're in the Ruby or Diamond tier of the rewards program, you do get that half an hour early access window, but start checking your emails as early as 40, 45 minutes before then. That's how you'll get the link to get into that. Um, and uh, be sure to check out any other sneak peeks that are up this week. I know that there have been a lot of mail delays lately, and so, um, you know, there might not be sneak peeks for everything, but uh, if you follow along with uh, my friend Sophie over at the Diamond Help Desk always does playlists of the new releases, uh, the sneak peeks and first looks that come out so you can follow along there if there's a particular kit you're really waiting to see unboxed. But anyway, you guys, let me know what you think. Is this on your shopping list for the weekend? And um, have you worked on a piece by Jade Marion before? This looks really lovely and I'm excited to see how it turns out. So thank you so much for watching. Thanks to Diamond Art Club for sending this over for me to share with you guys. I hope that it helped make your decision easier for the weekend and um, I invite you to subscribe if you want to be a part of my community here. I do lots of diamond painting videos and reviews and tutorials and that sort of thing and I'd love to have you. So I hope you have an amazing weekend my friends and uh, stay safe and take care of yourselves and I will chat with you in the next one. <laughs> Bye.